Welcome to our Tech Explainer video. Today we're tackling an important question for developers working with the UI document class. Our viewer asks, what happens to unsaved changes if the app crashes or the user force quits? How can we recover those changes when the app is relaunched? Let's dive into this intriguing topic. Welcome to another tech video. Today we're going to be going through your question, answering it, and hopefully finding that solution for you. Guys, remember to stay a little bit crazy, like me, and hopefully get to that resolution. Now, let's continue on to that video. When dealing with unsaved changes in a UI document, it's important to understand how the system handles crashes or force quits. UI document automatically saves changes to a temporary file, which can be used to recover unsaved data. To recover unsaved changes, you can implement the void restore user activity state method. This method allows you to access the temporary file and load the unsaved changes when the app relaunches. You do not need to create duplicate copies of each file manually. Instead, UI document manages this for you. However, you can enhance recovery by periodically saving the document state using the save to URL for save operation completion handler method. Additionally, using an undo manager can help track changes. You can periodically encode and store the document's data and undo manager state, which can be useful for restoring the document to a previous state. In summary, UI document provides built-in mechanisms for recovering unsaved changes. By leveraging these features and implementing periodic saves, you can ensure a smooth recovery process for your users. Let's now look at a user-suggested answer. UI document and UI managed document automatically track changes and save them safely. When saving, Apple uses a temporary file to prevent corruption. This process is mostly reliable, but if an app is forced quit, the current document state can't be saved. Apple saves documents in the background at specific times, but there's no clear guidance on force quits. Implementing a manual quick save may not be feasible, so periodic background saves are recommended. The undo manager faces the same issue as UI document during a force quit, as there's no event to trigger a save. It's best to follow Apple's strategies for document management. For more details, refer to Apple's documentation on document-based apps. It's comprehensive and provides valuable insights into the saving process. And that's it, guys. I hope this video has helped you get through to that resolution you're looking for. And if it did, please hit subscribe. I'd really appreciate it. Now, until next time, I hope you have a good day and see you then. Cheers. What? <laughs>